Hey guys, Steve here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. One of the more common questions I get when I publish my scroll saw patterns on the blog is what font do you use so I can cut it out on the scroll saw? Now there are stencil fonts out there that you can download and install, but you can also create your own stencil fonts fairly easily in Inkscape. If you look at this top board right here, you can see this is just a regular font. And if we were to apply this pattern to this board and cut it out, all these interior pieces would fall out. So to get around that, we have to have these little bridges, which makes it look like a stencil font. And that's why that's what it's called. So what I want to do today is I want to real quick here in Inkscape. Now Inkscape is a free vector graphics program that you can download at Inkscape.org. And uh, it's really a pretty nice program. I don't personally use it. Uh, I use CorelDRAW for most for all my work, but uh, CorelDRAW is fairly expensive, and this one's free, and that's hard to beat. So let me show you real quick how to make this type of font or this type of pattern, or to edit my pattern so it looks like that. Let's go ahead and create. A board here or a sheet that we want to add our pattern to. I'm going to go over here and select the font. I'm going to select Arial and Heavy as our font and we'll do like uh, let's say 72 for the size. We're going to type the name we want on the screen then we can put it on the place on the pattern where we want the name to be, the personalized name okay now what we can do is we can select both of these go up to path difference and you can see now we have what looks like this top one up here and again if we tried to cut this right now these pieces would fall out so all we have to do is just simply add bridges and in this particular uh, name it's going to be pretty easy to do we can go up here and grab our rectangle tool and just simply draw a line or a box a rectangle whatever you want to call it right there then we can hit the control C to make a copy of it and control V to paste it to get our second one we can put our second one right there third one right there fourth one right there now all we have to do is select all the objects go up to path union and now you can see what looks like the stencil font. You can do this with most any font. Some of the letters uh, require a little bit different technique. For instance, if we were to have had an A on the screen, this one's a little different. You could draw a line right down the middle, but that really doesn't work very well. So what I like to do on a stencil font is actually just take off part of it right here like I'll just come down and put a little line right there and do path difference and now we can take that put it on the board and cut it out a lot of times what I'll do is I'll actually come in and start right here draw down to here over to the middle up and that, so you basically get this is missing and this just comes over a little farther whatever you have to do to give yourself a little bridge so you can cut it out and again most fonts you can do this with. Some fonts are too skinny to uh, cut out on the scroll saw, but if you find yourself a, you know, a nice uh, heavy font of some type and you want to add a customization to one of my patterns, this is an easy way to do it. I'm Steve Good. Thanks for being with me at the Scroll Saw Workshop. We'll catch you next time.